got an equation here. It says 5 times x minus 3 is equal to 4 times x plus 3. So what we want to do is we want to figure out an x that satisfies this. So there's some number that if I take 5, multiply it by that number, subtract 3 from it, then that's going to be the same thing as if I take 4 times that number and add 3 to it. And before we go into how to solve these types of things, let's just first see if we can test whether something does satisfy this equation. And so I have three options here. I have x could be equal to 5, x could be equal to 6, and x could be equal to 7. And your goal is to pause this video and figure out which of these x's satisfy this equation. Which of these values would make this equation be true? So I have, I'm assuming that you have tried that. So let's work through each of them step one by one. So let's say this first one. If x is equal to 5, then in order for this to be true, 5 times 5, right? 5 times x, so 5 times 5 minus 3 needs to be equal to 4 times, everywhere we see an x, we're going to put a 5 there, 4 times, actually let me do it this way. Let me just to color code it. So this is the same thing as saying 5 times 5 times 5 minus 3. Let me do that in that same color. Minus 3 needs to be equal to 4 times 5. 4 times 5 plus 3. Plus 3. The color changing is hard. Plus 3. Now is this true? Let's see, 5 times 5 is 25. It's going to be 25 minus 3 needs to be equal to 20 plus 3. 25 minus 3 is 22, needs to be equal to 23. No, this is not true. So x does not equal 5. So this is, this is not a solution. Now let's try x equals 6. So once again, we're going to do 5 times our x, which is going to be 6. Actually, let me just write it out. Minus 3 equal, needs to be equal to 4 times our x plus 3. And in this case, our x is 6. So it's going to be 5 times 6 minus 3 needs to be equal to 4 times 6 plus 3. What's 5 times 6? What's well, 30 minus 3 needs to be equal to 4 times 6 is 24, and then plus 3. Well, this is true. 30 minus 3 is 27, which is indeed equal to 24 plus 3. It's equal to 27. So x equals 6 does satisfy our equation. It is a solution, and actually, as we'll see in the future, the solution to this equation right over here. x equals 6 satisfies this. Now just for good measure, let's just verify that x equals 7 will not, will not satisfy it. So let me move this up a little bit. So if x is equal to 7, we're going to get 5 times 7 minus 3 needs to be equal to 4 times 7 plus 3. And so we're going to get, in all of these cases, we do the multiplication first, order of operations, and it's very clear when you see it kind of in the algebraic notation up here. So we're going to do 35 minus 3 needs to be equal to 28 plus 3. 35 minus 3 is 32. 28 plus 3 is 31. These do not equal each other. So this is not a solution to our original equation.